Hello, everyone, and welcome. We are really excited to be here with you tonight. We're going to share some things that we've learned, and we are going to learn from some experts. My name is Kelly Braun. I live in Marblehead, Massachusetts, and I'm really excited to share what we have as far as helping people get more nutrition in daily and learning to grow their own in an easy way. We are fortunate to have Shondalyn Anderson join us tonight. She has been a gardener for over 30 years, growing mostly in raised beds. And then she had a little bit of a shift, which you're gonna hear in her story, when she saw something, I believe it was on Facebook. And she has five towers that she's been growing and she's been growing them for four years. And we're gonna get to see her towers. And she is gonna share with us how to set your tower up for success in the summer. So Shondalyn is a, works full time. She is a senior e-learner developer with the US Patent and Trade Office. And she is going to bring her expertise of gardening to us tonight. So Shondalyn, can you say hello? And you may be muted. I can see you, Shondalyn, but it looks like you're muted. Ask to un I'm going to ask you to unmute. There we go. I'm working on my cell phone, so I, I had to do a few adjustments. Again, my name is Shondalyn Anderson, and my story started very unexpectedly. I had just put in raised beds in the backyard. My husband and I had been doing all of this backbreaking work, and a girlfriend shared a video of her sons putting a tower garden together. And she kept poking at me and poking at me. And I, I finally said, okay, let me see what this is. And I didn't get it. I wasn't quite understanding what was happening. And so then she sent me a video of how the tower garden works from the corporate office. And I was intrigued and better to ask forgiveness than to ask for permission. I went ahead and I ordered a tower garden. Mind you, it's not like sneaking a box of shoes in the house. All these big boxes arrived on the front porch at the same time my husband was driving up into the driveway. And so he asked me, what is all of that? And I said, you just wait, you'll see. So I put the tower garden together and he says, what are you going to do with that? And I said, I'm going to put it on the back deck and I'm going to grow plants in it. And he said, well, what kind of plants? And I said, the same thing that's growing out in the, in the race beds. And he looked at me like I had two heads. And I said, I'm just going to compare how this type of, of growing compares to what happens in the ground. And I fast forward, I, I decided I was gonna just document this process on Facebook. So each week I would post a video and I would talk about you know, the progress. And I was just blown away at how this tower garden was producing. And so fast forward four years, I have five tower gardens. I grow year round. Um, I, I grow all kinds of things. I'm always pushing the envelope and I actually even have garlic in the one behind me, one of the ones behind me, um, just to see what it's going to do. But anyway, um, you can start a tower garden anytime. And here we are at the, almost at the first week in July, you know, and most people have already got their gardens going. But the thing about growing in a tower garden is you can start at any time. It's never too late. And so my tower gardens behind me, um, I put those in um, early spring and I've got some seedlings here and I'm, I'm gonna just talk about the different ways um, that you can start your seeds. Um, I like to grow my seeds from, my, my plants from seeds, so I start and we've got the rock wool that comes with the tower garden. What I like about growing in these little domed planters is that, um, I put my seeds in there, I put it on a heat mat, and I put a lamp over it. And I put those um, seeds in there and I let them sit for a long time. When I say a long time, once they've sprouted, I still let them sit because you've got that first set of leaves that, that pop up when the plant first sprouts, but those aren't really true leaves. You want the plant to have a, a nice substantial root system before you put it into the tower garden. And I know there's a lot of thought behind how people plant, but this rock wool is spun volcanic rock. And when it gets too wet, it falls apart. And when you stick a, a seed in here and you put it directly in the tower garden, there's nothing to hold this together. And so when you let your plant get to be a nice size, I like my roots showing up all 
all the way around, not just out of the bottom, but out of the sides. And it keeps that rock wall together. But the key is not to let your rock wall get so wet. So when you're when you're planting your seeds in the rock wall, I soak that rock wall for 20 minutes and I drain all the water off of it. And then I plant the seeds and it's, there's nothing, it's not sitting in water. That also will help keep that algae down from growing on the top. But I let it get almost completely dry on the outside before I actually add water and I add it to the bottom. I never water from the top. The other way that you can get seeds going is to, to order from a seedling provider. Now, these seeds here, these seedlings here are from True Garden in Arizona, and they came the other day, and they grow theirs in a cocoa core medium, which is like just crushed up coconut husks. But if you notice, when you look at these, they've got roots coming out of every side. They've allowed these to mature enough where this is a strong, sturdy plant. And so it's nice. You can just pop this in the tower garden and it's great and it'll take off. Um, the other thing that you can do is, you know, if you're really in a hurry and you feel like you're behind, this came from the, from the local garden store, right? And I, I have one that I, a basil plant that I just took and I took the, the dirt and I rinsed the dirt off and I pulled that root ball apart. And so it's just got these clean roots that are hanging here and the plant. And then you just take that rock wool and I just split the rock wool in half. I put the roots down in the little section below where the stems are just sitting above. And then I'll just put a rubber band around it and have the roots hanging at the bottom. And now you've got a plant that's ready to go into the basket in your tower garden. Now, sometimes if the root system is too substantive, you'll need to cut a hole down in the bottom of that basket and pull the roots down through so that this sits in there properly and that the roots are not exposed to the light. But those are the three ways that you can actually get going in your tower garden. I really like planting um, my lettuces and such like if you're going to grow outside, like it's starting to get really warm. So you know how on the back side of the tower garden, it's got a little bit of shade. You can also put your lettuces and the cooler weather crops in the back where they don't have that sun beating on, on them all day. You can also put your lettuce under a larger plant that has leaves that can kind of possibly shade that as well. Um, the thing I like about um, the tower garden is if it's not growing the way I like it, or if I feel like it needs more sun, you can just pop them out and move them around. You can't do that in a, in a dirt garden and everything grows really fast. Um, I really enjoy um, the ease of growing in the tower garden. And the other thing that I like is when you think about the amount of produce that you can produce on one vertical tower garden, it's a lot. Um, and my goal is not to shop in the grocery store. So if I can grow it on the tower garden, I do. I don't even venture into the section of the grocery store that has the herbs or the leafy stuff at all. Um, I've got strawberries growing on this tower garden behind me. They're just popping up everywhere. But if I can grow it, I do. My goal is to replace the grocery store and not have to go to the grocery store. I want full control over what's happening in my kitchen. And the only way that I can do that is on the tower garden. It's nutrient dense. I'm picking it at the peak of ripeness and it tastes so incredibly different than what you could purchase in the grocery store. And this is the new way of gardening. I mean, you don't need a lot of space. You need about a three foot circumference to put a tower garden and everything grows vertically. And I grow everything inside that I grow outside except for the vining plants. And I, I think everybody should own a tower garden. That's that's my story. I, I think that the more you do it, the easier it becomes. And there are so many things that I've learned along the way, but we'll save that for another training. Um, but to start, you can start from seed. There's lots of seed providers. Um, you just get with the person that, that um, invited you to the call. They can give you a list of the seedling providers that are available that you can buy plants from, or they can tell you, you know, great places to purchase organic seeds. And you'll be well on your way to, to growing your own produce. Sean Nolan, amazing. I'm learning so much and I've been growing a tower garden for nine years. I've been <laughs> overwatering my seeds. Thank you so much. 
Oh, I, I love your enthusiasm and you're making me more excited to really get more curious with my tower and get a little bit more diverse and putting some other things in. Next, we're going to hear from Rachel Smart. And Dr. Rachel Smart is a mom on a mission. She has four children and eight grandchildren, and she looks pretty good, if you ask me. She's passionate about prevention and really helping families get more nutrition in every day. We're helping reverse disease through nutrition and helping team leaders rise up so we can make a larger impact with people by sharing what we have and help people that can really be successful in business when they're working in health and wellness. Rachel, I'm wondering if you can share um, a little bit about why you love the Tower Garden and how it's benefiting your family. Oh, well, I'm glad to be able to be able to share tonight or today with all the community and watching and maybe some that are listening to the recording. But I love, Shondalyn, your your excitement for the Tower Garden. And I, I feel the same way with the power of living food. We can uh, be able to grow our own and know who's touching it. And with all the, the scares out there with some of the produce that is being recalled that even is good things like spinach, we, we take control of our own health and safety and it's rewarding. So I am blessed to share and I've been growing uh, tower gardens. I have four towers uh, for 12 years. So I have just been able to grow a massive amount of produce. Um, I Prior to having my tower gardens, I everybody knew that if they bought me something that would just die. <laughs> I, I, I didn't, I forgot to water it or I over, over, overwatered it, didn't have the good lighting system. And so this is something I've been able to win with. And it's been really rewarding. And as a naturopathic doctor, I really love the variety. You know, we, we need variety. Our, our life needs variety, but our, so does our palate. And so having a variety of foods that we can have maybe five or six or seven different types of lettuces. So that's one of the benefits for our family is that we have a little bit of a lot of things and it really amplifies your wellness and also uh, keeps you um, satiated and having a variety of plants and it just amplifies the the. Um, the taste as well and so i have just loved that the taste is we eat more of what we like and i i have grandkids so when i have them come over make a salad they eat it because it tastes very different than that in the stores because of the variety and the in the rich density of the food and the in the it's not like being picked way early like it is in the store and then I, I have four gardens and I save, um, I would say at least 20 to $30 minimum each week when I'm in my high season of growing. So saving money is a big benefit um, and a reward. I think like Shondalyn, you talked about, you know, just really um, having fun with your tower and then you get better as you go. Uh, but I love the, the year round feature because I've grown in Georgia uh, I've grown all year round. And so it's not just something we do for a four months in the summer, but it's all year round. So. Excellent, Rachel. I'm wondering if you can share how you use the produce, the different ways that you use it with your family. Well, I have my, uh, all my family, you know, they have four daughters, they all end up getting married, but I still use the four towers, but I do juice at times. So I, the juicing, I do celery juice. I, um, you know, kale for some of the juicing and chard and the spinach, I can throw them into juicing. So that's one tower could be a juicing tower. And then I love the salads. Uh, so like I said, a variety of salads with lots of different tastes and, uh, you know, we know more about the variety is more gut health and and the more we eat, the more we, we want to eat, the more we crave. And then, of course, everybody knows that smoothies are great. And that's something that I do almost every day with at least one healthy smoothie with some greens from the tower, Swiss chard, got some spinach, kale. I did that this morning when I, I got home from a trip and uh, just getting more uh, variety. And when I add this spinach and the greens and the char to my smoothie with a little bit of fruit and almond milk and some a good protein powder that I'll share a little later what I use, um, it fills you up. It really has more filling. And then another way is soups. I'm all big about you know making soups. I use the broccoli leaves. So I use all the parts of my tower. So broccolets, but also the broccoli leaves. I just don't waste anything and they have a lot of nutrition. So I cut them up. And I put them in soups. I can polarize them and put them in different things, freeze them for, you know, other things that I'm making. But uh, soups are amazing. And um, and then I have really been learning a lot more about this, you know, how to season foods so they taste better and they're medicinally used. So I use basil because it's really good to make pesto, you know, and also helps with digestion. I use uh, thyme 
uh, really with my zucchini, a stir fry zucchini. And I started recently getting into sourdough bread with some of the gut health features of that and putting some of the seasonings that I use for my garden into things like sourdough bread. And then I love like peppermint. I have had used that for infused waters, but I, I learned that's really good for the brain. And, um, and then things like sage. And I've recently been studying a lot more about the polyphenols, which are in food of sage. I've learned there's 160 um, polyphenols just in sage. And that's the antioxidant property that helps bind those toxins. And I use sage and butternut squash and some organic meats. If I eat meat, it's going to be, you know, seasoned well. And then, of course, things like chives that are cancer. They, they, they prevent cancer and, and things like that. So that's what I I love to find different ways. And then I just recently uh, I bought this little book and it was about power your power bowl. So, you know, the different one meal where you put the lettuces and all the different um, vegetables in and you can make different varieties of, um, uh, you know, power up bowls or powering up your plate with different types of um, easy ways to make a one meal dish. Oh my goodness. I am getting so excited about adding new things like sage. I don't have sage this year. I do have celery. But I think that there's the variety is just amazing. And I, I think I'm going to get another tower garden going because I only have one going now. But Rachel, I know that you are a naturopathic doctor. And as a naturopathic doctor, which you've been practicing for a long time, I wonder if you would share your story of how you got here and just share a little bit about the power of the rainbow and the variety of food that we need every day. Mm. Well, I never get tired of sharing my story, and I um, really learned about the power of living food and powering up my plate and the protection that plants give when my husband was diagnosed with cancer. So he was out of the blue, very healthy, never had a lot of health challenges, was diagnosed with terminal adrenal cancer, given six months to live. And you can't even imagine if a mother of four little kids just and all having to deal with this cancer wake up call. It really made us search out and uh, really start learning about why plants matter and why um, why more and more variety matters and getting them every day matters. And so we uh, started learning about um, how we could help extend his life and help battle uh, you know it well. Um, learned about arming my family. My my family had a cancer history of cancer. I wanted to have something to be a nutritional seatbelt, an armor suit, I call it, to help ward against or to put out bay cancer. And then, of course, um, you know, it was a scary time, but, you know, there was a lot of things that came out of that with just uh, um, 18 months of just really uh, feeding and fueling with juicing, smoothies, eating a plant-based diet. 90% uh, of the metastases were gone in just two, 18 months with my husband. With The research was clear. The science was clear that plants can extend life and they can uh, heal, restore, or detoxify and to put disease at bay and to give more time. So uh, since that, that happened, I saw the power of living food. I started working as a naturopath during that time. And I started teaching my clients about oxidation and how our bodies age, how cancer, we all have cancer genes and our, we all have cancer in our bodies. And what turns them on or turns them off is the power of food. If food can turn them on, the good food and the junk food and the toxic food and the chemical food can, um, you know, basically uh, open up the, the gene expression. So I started um, looking at uh, what we could do and juicing was one of those tools. And I, I mentioned smoothies and, and then a, a neighbor had come to share with me a juicing alternative uh, with a fraction of the cost of juicing because juicing gets old after a while and we don't get variety. I got tired of just the carrot juice and, um, and then I wanted variety. And then I started really being aware of the food quality is very, very different in the stores. They don't have the new, the, the, um, the potential to really heal like um, we have to have bridges. We have to have ways to get more of them. So what the goal is to eat plants, fill gaps and more and more matters. And so she taught, she introduced me to a doctor that talked about how to get more plants through a whole food concentrate and functional food. And I was very a healthy skeptic, I say. Um, I uh, knew that we were doing good things with my husband's health. And, but I said, I want to look at the research. And so she shared with me a way to really uh, give an edge on my husband, given more you know, a more raw food and wide variety of 30 plants was something called Juice Plus. And so I started really researching that and it blew me away, the research. Um, and now it's, it, after 30 years, it's been used as the uh, the foundation for most doctors or a lot of doctors in their practices, but I use it in my practice as the number one most effective way to change your health and the cell turnover 
And, um, you know, so it's powdered produce and I just, I grabbed some of my bottles. And one of the things I really was excited about because it was not a supplement, it wasn't a vitamin. It was, it had a nutrition fact label and that was, it's really a food powdered produce and dehydrated fruits and vegetables. And so we have the, the berries, we have the fruit. So there's, there's 10 berries, 10 fruit, and then we have the 10 vegetables. So now I, I got a lot more than just greens off the tower. I was able to get the fruits and the berries. Then we have a vegan omega as well. So what happened? My husband got eight extra healthy years and it had completely changed my, my hope in my life. I was very overwhelmed with trying to help my family be safe, but I saw God give us a miracle of his produce. The mother nature is what we need. And he was able to get eight extra healthy, healthy years and uh, seeing his, my life, his life get an added, um, you know, edge on his own health. And he was have, have very, very good quality as well. And so um, it was something I became very passionate about for my own self. I've only been to zero sick cares in 24 years um, as I've been sharing this. And as a practitioner, I share it with all the doctors I work with that they will you know, use this as a tool to help others. Um, we also use this uh, for mamas and dads that want to be able to armor their kids because they're expected to have a shorter life expectancy. They're not getting enough raw food. And I share this with a lot of other, whether they're chiropractors, massage therapists, or other holistic practitioners to be able to use this as a foundational tool to bridge the gap from what we're not getting every day. If they don't grow, the foods in the stores need to be, we need to have something to pick us up to get more um, power in that food. And then um, the tower garden is a way to build, um, you know, to, to be able to be the thing that we, um, I always say tower garden is what you like to be eating and whole food concentrates with juice plus is what you need to be getting every day because you're getting all the variety that you normally wouldn't all grow on the tower. So I have lots of stories to share. I don't know if I could just, you know, my passion is giving hope to families. And I was thinking about this event tonight and I thought, you know, for all those that are you're listening, I am grateful to have something that's better than any kind of a factory food. It's real food from the tower. A whole food concentrates with juice plus is the edge. It is the number one secret to help really be pre-digested food variety. And uh, some of the stories just in a nutshell, um, I've helped families, you know, with kids who have struggles, they turn their health around. It reverses disease. I have one of my clients who's 80 years old. Um, she only takes powder fruits and vegetables, you know, with the juice plus, and then she eats the best she can, but uh, she stays really well and she didn't have to take all the boatload of medicines. So that was really rewarding to see a lot of my older clients have the edge on their health and live and feel great too, and focus on the real diet, the, eating the real food diet, but also juice plus is the bridge. And we do have um, healthy, clean protein shakes as well with 15 more plants in our protein mixes, which I offer as part of our, our healthy living makeover program. And um, I had one experience with one of the families, um, had one of my friends that I met, she had the triplets and one of them was autistic because they were not identical and he wasn't able to speak. Um, he was 12 years old. He went to a lot of brain balance centers and lots of therapies, but he wasn't able to really see a difference really in the way he was um, speaking. And he was very awkward. He wasn't able to connect with people in conversation, but after four months on Juice Plus, it was, he started speaking complete sentences. And although he still had aut autism, it was able to have a lot more functioning power. So it showed the power of living food. And then I have some clients that have been diabetic. So this is uh, without having all the sugar and uh, as well as the easy button. And um, so my athletes, I have a lot of friends that are you know into athletics and they see a better recovery. And then I guess the last story is about myself. I really sailed through menopause. I just turned 60 and it's really hard to go through menopause at times with a lot of struggles. And I helped to really not have to crave, uh, the cravings really diminished for the junk food and helped me to really elevate my palate to want more fruits and vegetables. So those are some things that I have saw. And I just recently came back today from Chicago. I was able to be, have an opportunity to go to the farms to meet the farmers that have been family farmers for over since 1860, I believe, that grow the powder, the fruits and vegetables and berries 
with uh, our Juice Plus company. And the farmers are, like I said, family farms. They, um, it was amazing to see the harvesting of the kale. So they had 1,500 acres of just one of the farms. We have hundreds of farms that grow the produce with Juice Plus and they're able to take it in from the farm. They're able to do this whole seven steps to wash the produce. Uh, and then they're able to um, have it go through a pulverizing process where they crush all the plants uh, like the, the kale and the broccoli stems and all the whole part of the food. And then within 15 seconds, it goes from a, um, a slurry after they take out the water, the sugar and salt, it goes from a powder to, um, or the wet, the wet part of the, the slurry to the powder part, powdery dehydrated fruits and vegetables in 15 seconds. So it's very um, fast and it holds in all the enzymes and it's just amazing to be able to get this much nutrition. So I'm just so grateful to have the tower garden to be able to have the things that like Shondalyn you mentioned, to, to be able to save money, to find joy, uh, to uh, know who's touching our food, which is really critical. And, um, and uh, it also turns into a very good business for people who love to help people. And then I use the Juice Plus for the, the seatbelt. And then we are able to find ways in, in our community to help people eat more fruits and vegetables, grow a business with noble work, and to help people be ready for the best years and also be ready for the worst because we're going to have both. And my husband passed away after eight years. And so I, my, my passion is to help people rise strong um, and be ready for the best and be able to know they can have something special to be part of our mission because we are expanding rapidly all over the world, over 20, 25, 30 countries. And uh, we have all these tools that we've mentioned tonight uh, with our towers, with our cutting edge whole food concentrates. We have a program that's called the Shred Makeover Program. And all the kids who are aged four years of age up to 26 can be on a healthy start, um, get free, free raw fruits and vegetables uh, with the sponsoring adult, which is amazing to help our children, which is the future of tomorrow, have the best health and keep those diseases at bay or help them fight strong. Rachel, thank you so much. And I actually got to take advantage of that Healthy Starts for Kids, which is why I'm here. And our family actually benefited and we had a health turnaround. So you talk about being able to reverse what's happening in a child's health. My daughter, I'm a health professional and I work for over 30 years <clears throat> as a physical therapist. And we really added the capsules, not, we didn't have anything about the tower garden at that point. And my daughter's asthma went away. Like her whole childhood was filled with inhalers, nebulizers, antibiotics, and even pregnisone. And since we added these plant powders to our diet, we have not renewed her inhalers. She was able to perform at a higher level as an athlete. So if you're listening to this and you're excited about growing your own food, saving some money by having more control, trying to figure out how to bridge that gap between what we are eating and what we should be eating in an easy, convenient, clean way, get with the person that invited you. We can share information with you with how to get started. And we have special promotion going on from now until the end of June. So connect with us and we can help you get those benefits and those little bonuses that we have that we're going to provide to help people get going. We're so glad that you are here. We're really on a mission to help people have more, do more, and be more. And if you want your skin to look like Rachel's, I think you should be growing your own food and swallowing those capsules because you radiate, Rachel. And I just, I'm excited. I think more is better and we just have to work harder to get more in every day so we can live as long as we can doing the things that we love to do. Okay, thank you for joining us tonight. We'll stop the recording.